All right, welcome back. This is the fourth video on making the jack-o'-lantern. We're going to finish making the stem right now. In order to do that, we've created these three planes with a sketch on each of the three planes. And now we're going to use this really cool tool called Loft. Loft is a tool that allows you to organically join different shapes that are on different planes. So um, Loft, you kind of have to play around with a little bit. First thing we want to do is grab this first um, shape that we made here, the first six-sided polygon, and it's grabbed the polygon and the plane, and there's only one shape on that plane, and so it's grabbed that. So let's grab the second one, see if it'll just grab that for us. Look at that. There we go. And then the third one, there you go. And notice how it does this beautiful transition. Um, from plane to plane and uh, sort of averages out the line so that they connect to each of those planes and and continue all the way through. That should do it. Go ahead and hit OK. And there is our stem. Looks pretty good. Um, you may want to change the color of the stem in order to change just features. You can uh, click on, on the surfaces there. Hold down Shift as you click around. Let's see what else I can grab without moving around. And um, I think in a pumpkin patch, those would probably be sort of a green color. Let's see. How about we do, well, let's do smooth dark forest green. And then I'm just going to click on one of the corners of view cube to see the other side and click on one surface, hold shift, click on another surface. And let's make that also the smooth, what was I doing using here? Smooth dark forest green. There we go. All right, there's the stem of the pumpkin. All right, so we have this pl work plane here, and we're going to use that work plane to create the face on the pumpkin. So if you click on the edge of the work plane and you click Create Sketch, um, you are now in sketch mode and you're sketching on this work plane. What you might want to do at this point is just pop onto Google and do a quick search for a uh, jack-lantern face and that'll give some ideas of how you can sketch this. I would recommend that you freehand sketch it. You're just going to go to maybe use circle, make a circle, another circle like that, um, but you don't want it to be too happy and boring because it is a jack-lantern after all. So let's put some other little pieces into it. And uh, I'm just going to cut the corners off of those eyes to make them look kind of angry. Enter to create a new line. Okay, I've got all these lines all over the place. Let's use trim to get rid of everything we don't want. So I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Trim is pretty cool. It cleans things up pretty quickly. So I've just put all this stuff down here. And now I'm going to try and get rid of it all. Look at that. Those are kind of jack-o'-lantern eyes. All right, so then I'm going to do the mouth part, which is always the most fun. And you can take your time and do something a little bit better than what I'm doing here. But for... There we go. That's a pretty awesome little jack-o'-lantern mouth, if I must say so myself make sure to close it. So an important piece here is that all of these um, lines have to properly attach with each other. There we go. Um, and then I think we probably need a nose as well. So we can go there and make some sort of a nose and you can be a lot more artistic than I am. Just trying to grab stuff from behind. There we go. So remember, you can zoom as you're doing this by just using the little rolly thing on your mouse and then push it down to pan. Finish sketch. All right, let's extrude that. Use extrude and click the different parts that you want to get rid of. And this is kind of in my way here. There we go. And they are all working very nicely with us. And uh, then in the extrude window, you can this top section here is when you want to add material. This middle section is when you want to take away material. 
and uh, you might need to just uh, move things around a little bit to see how far you need to take the material away. And so we have it set that it's only digging in by one inch. We need it to go way deeper than that. So let's make that, oh, let's say eight inches or so, so that it for sure, for sure goes way deep through all that, right to the center of the pumpkin. And uh, so we're removing material and we're going in by eight inches. Hit OK. And will you look at that? It's almost a jack-o'-lantern. Last thing you're going to want to do is if you can uh, mouse inside of one of the eyes, you can click on the inside face and you can turn that to a nice bright yellow and it'll look a little bit more jack-o'-lantern-ish because it'll look like it's lit up inside. Where did I see that? Canary? I think canary will do. So let's make the inside canary. Look at that. And let's orbit around a little bit. See what we've missed. So again, we're